All right, so Merry Christmas, everybody. It is December 26th, and Mama Goose and I are off on a new adventure. Uh, today, we left the house around 7 a.m., got up to Zion around, I don't know, it was like 1 or 2, and uh, we are hoping we could drive all the way up the main canyon, because I read something online that said that uh, this time of year that the shuttles don't run, and this is one of the rare times you can drive yourself in your own vehicle. Well, we got to the gate area, and that is apparently fake news. So, uh, we did drive around Zion a little bit, uh, filled up with gas, bought some firewood, and headed back up towards Zion and took another highway uh, east to the other entrance. And uh, once we exited the park, uh, we found ourselves a ton of BLM land, which is currently where we're at right now. It's hard to strike out here in Utah. That's what I'm finding is, uh, you know, just a couple hours we've been up in this area from St. George past it was just absolutely gorgeous so it's our first trip to utah um we're gonna spend the night here we're gonna put some food on here in a little bit but tomorrow we are headed out northeast towards moab area uh, we're gonna spend five nights out here and it will probably end up being a couple videos worth but uh sun's about to go right down right now so uh me and my bride we're gonna probably get the fire on sit by the fire and once that sun goes down start dinner so Bad. We're in the middle of Utah, somewhere, somewhere east of Zion. Got cell service. Cowboys football's just about to start. Got a nice warm fire here. Got and my cowboy sweater on. Got the Cowboys Christmas sweater on. They just clinched the NFC. Yep. Playoff. And uh, so we're going to sit here and stuff our faces with uh, some of this pasta, keep the fire going, watch a little Cowboys football. Um, tonight's meal is super easy. Mama Goose has mastered uh, the art of uh, Italian spaghetti sauce. She made some meat sauce a couple months ago, and we had it in the freezer. So we brought the sauce with us. I uh, cooked the pasta, as you can see, and 
it was really quick. Didn't break up the scottle. Um, we'll see plenty of scottle this trip, I promise. But tonight, it was a super simple meal, easy to make. Didn't have to really break out a whole lot of uh, uh, dishes or anything. So, how is it, dude? All right. Nice and warm. Yeah, it's like probably 30 degrees out here right now. But uh, gonna put the camera away. We're gonna watch some Cowboys football, and we will see you guys in the morning. Daniel? Try not to panic. We're going, uh, it's, what day is it? Monday morning. And we're going down to the main highway. And what was soft snow yesterday coming up in the afternoon is now turned into like a slip and slide. So I've got it in four low, uh, first gear with downhill descent. And we're just slowly going, but I can feel it break loose every other turn of the tire like right there so uh we should be down the worst part of the mountain here in a few minutes and uh, we'll give you guys an update of what today's agenda is <laughs> just kidding um so we got out of that last campsite we didn't do a whole lot of recording last night this is going to be a six day trip so we're only going to get bits and pieces of each day because the most important part about last night was the Dallas game. The Dallas game, yeah. And they won by they, they absolutely destroyed the football team. <laughs> the football team. Uh, but we have about a four and a half hour drive ahead of us, which is probably closer to five and a half hours by the time you stop to get gas and lunch somewhere. So uh, we are headed northeast and we're driving through Orderville, Utah right now and on our way to Moab. Uh, well, the Moab area. Tonight's campsite is outside of Moab, um, but I have a feeling it's going to be absolutely amazing. So, uh, if there's anything interesting on the road, we will show you guys and let Mama Goose film. You're going to let me film? Let her film, if she wants to film. All right, see you guys in a little bit.
Not a bad spot, huh? So uh, we're making our way to Moab and we're in Canyon Lands and a friend of ours gave us some coordinates in this area to go to, but the coordinates he gave us took us down a ravine and up a ravine, which was kind of sketchy. You saw me going up it and we immediately turned back around because we we're going past his coordinates. So we found this spot, um, which he said there were a lot of campsites in this area that uh, were amazing and he wasn't lying. Um, you can see we're right parked at a canyon here where we've got, view I mean, it looks like, it looks like the Grand Canyon. This is insane. Um, I wish there was a little bit more sun. I'll take the drone up right now so you guys can see, but um, we're going to get camp set up and probably get a fire going. guys so it's an italian themed uh vacation up till now we had pasta last night tonight we're doing pizza on the scottle which i've never done before so bear with me while i try my hand at a pizza on here so what we're doing tonight is it's really cold it's a little bit windy and it's going to get windier so we're going to burn through some of this wood that we have probably not all of it um but we're going to burn through a good amount of it while i'm cooking dinner and we're gonna hang out here as long as we can before we call it a movie night inside the Jeep. But uh, what we got is some uh, pre-made uh, pizza crust, some cheap old pizza sauce from the store since we didn't have time to make any, and just some mozzarella cheese, some pepperonis, and some hot chili flakes for myself. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the crust on the scottle right now and kind of get the bottom crusty. And then I'll show you the following steps from there, which I'm totally making up because I have no idea. But I figure that makes the most sense. So let's cook dinner. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the scottle nice and hot. And we're just gonna constantly move the pizza crust around so it's getting cooked on the bottom. How do you think this is gonna turn out, Mama Goose? Good? Okay. I think it'll be good. I've never used pre-made pizza crust though. I know, so. we, we normally go to a little Italian deli by our house called Claro's in Upland. Shout out to Claro's, you guys are amazing. And they make the pizza dough right there, so you just get the pizza dough and you throw it on your own pizza stone in your oven, which we do often. But this is a little different than what we're used to, but we're camping also at the edge of a cliff, so. White sauce or more than that. Ooh, it's <laughs> windy here. <laughs> And now I'm hoping we can just put the cover on it. And it'll warm up. All right, so we just finished putting the pepperoni on it, the cheese, and we got the scottle cranked. And I'm hoping the heat that generates off the bottom of the pan is gonna go up and warm the pizza up. But we'll check it in a few minutes and see if that cheese is melting and that'll be a good, give us a good idea if it's actually working or not. We might be having chips for dinner, dear. 
This does not feel hot at all, which is not a good sign. Oh boy. All right, so let's check our pizza. Oh! That looks really good. Yep, making some progress. <laughs> Probably another 10 minutes or so and we'll be ready to eat. <laughs> Boy, he takes that truck all kinds of wheeling. That, one. that was nice of him. Yeah. Check on. And they were able to track us with tire tracks. I know. So, uh, our friends that we know from American Adventure is John and Barbara just stopped by. They're the ones that told us about this spot. And uh, they live only about five minutes down the road. So this is their backyard. So they've got all kinds of great ideas. They put us on this spot. And tomorrow, they invited us to go on a run with them uh, on Willow Springs, which that'll be fun. I was, uh, we were going to do Top and of the, the World. Arches. And to the arches. So that'll be a fun run. We were going to do Top of the World by ourselves tomorrow. But I just honestly didn't have, I don't have any idea what to expect. There's a, some snowfall on the ground. Um, There's all my supposed to be snowfall. Tomorrow. It's like a 40% chance. So. Yeah, it's, it says it's rated at a 6 or 7, which is, I mean, Bell's more than capable. But if there's snow on the ground and by ourselves, uh, I was just a little bit nervous. So when they invited us tomorrow to go with them to run Willow Springs, uh, it just seems like the right thing to do and probably the more grown-up decision. <laughs> So I'm learning. So I'm going to grab another beer. We are just about ready to eat and we will catch up with you guys once the final result is done and uh, meet you here by the fire. I got the last ones. Oh, you just said to the camera you're going to get another beer. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. So we think the pizza's done. It's done. I'm gonna turn this off so it cools down a little bit. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and then I'm gonna pull the pizza off of this metal tray and just, I'm gonna cut it on the scottle since it's not seasoned anyways. Again, this is the uh, naked scottle, which doesn't have any seasoning so you don't have to worry about cutting into it or anything. So uh, I'm gonna cut it on the scottle and we are gonna be eating in no time. All right, I'm gonna pick the pizza up. Can you move the... Ooh, it's crispy. Ooh, that's hot. It's a knife. Ooh. This looks amazing. It's probably too hot. Too. It is a crispy bottom, too. It's hot. Kind of a burnt bottom. I'm not gonna lie. Is it hot? Mm-mm. Holy crap, that's good. What do you think, dear? That's good. Scottle pizza. Yep. I think I, I got a little too carried away with the pre-cooking the mm -hmm. dough on the scottle. I don't think you need a pre cook Uh-uh. Because it. it'll warm up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it should be warm, but not that warm. Next time. Next time I'll master it, I promise. But we're going to sit here and act like we're not freezing cold. And after our pizza, we are going to quickly put everything away because it might rain tonight. And I don't like putting wet camping gear in my Jeep in the mornings. We'll probably load almost everything up tonight. This way I don't freak out when it starts raining or getting too windy tonight.
morning. Tuesday morning at a spot um, off of, I think it's the 313. I'm not sure what highway it is, but we're right overlooking uh, Canyon Lands. And uh, good night's sleep. It was breezy off and on uh, throughout the night. Just enough to wake you up, and then it would stop, which is good. It didn't really carry on very long. Just some uh, strong gusts, which woke us up. But it was cold. It was certainly cold. It probably got down to the mid-20s last night. And uh, this morning, as you can see, it's it's snowing. So we got a light dusting last night, and I have a feeling it's going to keep coming in today. But... Tish, what are you doing? Warming up my face. You have the towel over your head over Mr. Buddy Heater. Mm -hmm. What do you think all of our viewers are gonna think of that? That I'm, <laughs> that I'm genius. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we just left camp and we're headed into town to fuel up, get water and meet up with John and Barb around one o'clock. But it's only 1040 right now, so Mama Goose and I are going to go do some exploring. No camping. We're not camping. But we're on a nice little uh, snowy trail. Probably like an inch or two of snow. It's not bad at all. And we're just going to wander, see where it takes us. And uh, maybe we'll get into some nice uh, drone footage. Yeah. You guys will find out here shortly. Alright, so we just finished a great lunch in the town of Moab, and we just met up with John, Barbara, and their son, and we are headed over to Willow Springs Trail, which, did he say it takes us down to arches? arches and dinosaur trucks? Dinosaur or something. Dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it should be fun. It's, it's starting to snow again, so uh, we'll have to see what... Uh, what we get into, but both these guys are in full-size pickup trucks, so I imagine uh, however far they get, uh, Belle will do just fine. We got the name. She's got the name. Willow Springs and Dinosaur Tracks. We were right. Willow Springs and Dinosaur Tracks. Um, so uh, it should be pretty. I wish it was a little more clear, but you can't have everything in life. Uh, we'll catch up with you guys in the trail.
we're gonna hike over there, dear. All right. Ready? Yep, after about two hours of wheeling, we're gonna walk over, or closer to uh, Tower Arch. Let's go take a look. Well, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was about four hours of wheeling and it was amazing. We saw areas of Moab that we would have never uh, well, in the general vicinity of Moab. You want to start a rant? Not Moab. Let's start a rant. So, <laughs> we, we were in Arches, Arches National, National Park. Park. <laughs> we practiced that. Um, but yeah, we this trail that we went on, we would have never done it if it wasn't for meeting up with John and Barbara. Um, and they took their full-size Chevy. I think it's either like a three-quarter ton or a one ton. Um, and he mastered that thing. I mean, uh, it wasn't hardcore wheeling, but I'd certainly have a tough time in, in uh, my Chevy going through there. And there were some technical spots. Yeah, there were some technical there were spots. Some slick rock spots. Yeah. But now it's Tuesday at five o'clock. Um, and I just found out a little bit ago that fins and things and a bunch of the trails we wanted to go on. Uh, are closed. I guess they close them whenever it's weather like this and it just it keeps dumping. It's not getting any better. Um, we were hoping that the middle of the week it open up so I think we need to regroup Yeah. and take showers. So it's five o'clock right now. This is going to be a good opportunity for us to we're probably going to get a hotel tonight only because it keeps dumping snow which doesn't really bother us that much no, but but it's five o'clock and we are not near our original no we're nowhere near we're still in the park and there's no and, camping in the park yeah so we have to get out of the national park drive to our camp spot which we don't know where it is because the campsite for tonight was going to be over there uh by one of the trails we wanted to run which is closed yeah so so hotel we'll, it is hotel warm <laughs> shower <laughs> We'll probably eat out and maybe have a couple of adult beverages. Some cold adult beverages? And maybe some warm adult beverages. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm buying, dear. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I think that's going to be a wrap also for this video. So 
we will pick it back up tomorrow unless there's something fun tonight to record which i don't foresee that happening unless you guys want to see the really cool hotel rooms in moab um but that's it for this video we will uh, let you guys know in the next video where we end up going um any ideas um, don't blow it okay we have ideas we'll let you guys know on the next video until then happy trails you guys and happy new year